Before getting into today's episode, we'd like to thank Mac Performance PT for sponsoring the Walk On Pod. For more on their services and contact information, click the link in our Instagram bio where you will be led to their website. Mac Performance PT, helping Sacramento athletes live life without limits. Thank you for tuning back into the Walk On Pod. Uh, yeah, you know. I, a lot of this just got cut out, but there's some technical difficulties leading up to this. But I'm glad we're here. Uh, Tommy, Jared, how are we doing, fellas? Mm, good man, pretty good man. Good. Just a normal, normal night here in the Waters household. Just a normal night in the nine one six. Tommy and yeah. I are both in Arizona right now. Uh, I got to see Tommy the other day. It was it was it was a fun night. We got to see each other. Went to dinner together. So that yeah, nice. that, that's a that's 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 a good bump right there. Yeah, real good Great pod links. Yeah. Um, I do got to say though, I got a bone to pick with my man Tommy here. He knew it was coming to. He mm. knew it was coming. And I'm, I'm early. starting let me, early. Hold on. Let me put it down. Yeah. And early. We're literally not even 45 seconds in. Can yeah, I, I told you some, some beverages and libations or no? I mean, so look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Tommy and I, we have we've talked about our group message before, but so we're in this group message, right? And um, NFL free agency is going on. For those that don't know, Tommy is a supposed die hard Raiders fan. So I texted him in the group message. I said, what are the Raiders doing, Tom? And Tom goes, I don't know. I'm officially an NFL free agent. Now, if you, if, if, if we look at what's been going on in this podcast, we've talked about my loyalty to the Kings throughout all these years of the BS free agency decisions, drafting decisions, wins and losses, everything. And I've never, I've never left. I've never left. And Tommy likes it. I'm not done. Tommy likes to get on me about, you know, the Kings and all this. But the second the Raiders start doing something a little questionable, Whoa, he's not Don't act anymore. like the Raiders haven't been doing stupid things for years. Okay, but what all I'm saying is this is this is this feeds into the, the entitled fan mentality that I was talking about with the Warriors. All right, no, just because a couple things are going away. This. No, don't this has nothing to do with the Warriors. Yeah, don't it's not the about the This is a completely nah, different I'm ball saying ball. I'm saying what type oh, of fan ter- he is. He's in oh, okay. This is already yeah, a okay, gar- yeah. this is this is already a garbage argument. How is it garbage? Uh, I have the I, I, I'm Jared, allowed to I express my I'm allowed to express I'm allowed to express my anger. Just because I'm a free agent doesn't mean I can't resign. Free agent? I would never. I would never say that I'm a free That's agent. That's good for you. That's good for yeah. you. You the Sacramento Kings also didn't trade Derek Carr for Jimmy Garoppolo. So uh, we've done a lot of Papa Giannis a better, you know. Do you want to you talk about think, some of the draft picks no, the Kings Jimmy did? I, I put better. the jerseys on. Mm, like, what are we know. talking about? Um, Dave's, Dave, Jared. I don't know much about football, but I will know that Jimmy Garoppolo has won more playoff games than David Carr has. Who, who's David Carr? His name is Derek, Derek Carr. Carr. Sorry. Is Derek Carr. Okay, I'm on, uh, I'm about the that's same. Because, They're going to be in the same spot here pretty soon. That's because the 49ers are always loaded, Jared. That has nothing to do with how good Jimmy is. Jimmy's garbage. I didn't even I tell you that. I don't like how this got diverted from the real problem here. Yeah, I don't there, like that there either. is no, there is no problem. Luke's just trying to start something that's not there. I don't, I don't know. know, Jared. I want your opinion. I, I want your opinion on this, Jared. You've you've witnessed. You've seen me stick with the Kings through more than anybody. All I'm saying is these are the facts on the table. Tom, Tom I'm, I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to digress here in the sex, uh, sex section of. Yeah, just because it's bad for a couple of years, you can't go, can't go free agent. It's tough. All right. Who said so I was leaving the fandom? Who said I was leaving the fandom? I never I mean, said. I don't I, even Tommy think Ball. the Raiders have fandom anymore. I never said I, Tommy do, Ball, am no longer a Raiders fan and never come back. But I don't feel like the black hole is something that you can be wishy washy with. Mm. Mm. That's fine. I'm very angry with the Raiders. Like I have every right in the world to be angry with the Raiders. I they think if you walked into the black hole and said and looked up to the guy that wears the Darth Vader costume and said, "I'm being real, wish I'm a free agent," he might actually do this to you and lift that's you fine. Off the I probably will never go to the black hole. I've never been to a football game. Like I said, I'm more of a basketball fan than a football fan. So like I don't know why Luke is bringing football into this. He doesn't even have a football team. I would never do this with the basketball team. I've, I've, so this is a it, shit argument, in my opinion. It's 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 a, a about what type of fan you were. 
Yeah, that's true. When the going gets tough. This Warriors, this Warriors in five over Sacramento is going to hit so much better when no, I'm uh, talking to worry so about. much. How, yeah, you I, don't, I don't, don't have anything to worry about. How, how many road games have you won this year? It's bad. How many rings do the Kings have? Dude, uh, no, no, see, this yeah. is my I'm going to give them back to back to back weeks. Tyler Smith has been just destroying my phone with the road win thing. So, Tyler. The bro- the road win thing on, is a man. tough one, and and you yeah. guys, I'm told, like I don't, really I, I hate that the, the umbrella with the ring joint is happening. Like, can we just talk about right now what's going on? The road. I mean, well, they won, playing. they won less than 20, 12 months ago, so you can say right now they are the. No, I understand they are the Literally, Literally, champions, like, but the four rings say four. Mm. It's like I last mean, night four uh, they, they were getting cooked. They got they, they were getting They're literally pissing season. me off today. Good, I like this. <laughs> I like when Tommy gets mad. No, we it's haven't cool. even been potting for four minutes, and I'm already mad. It's been four minutes. Yeah, I just want to get that piece off early because nah, I, I told I think Tom, it's okay. Bad piece, it's a bad piece because you're not so, even a football fan, so you don't understand. You don't understand the the Raiders' pain. So, no, so Tom, I have I, I have a question. Okay. Hold on, hold on, Luke. Yeah, I have a question. Honest question. Um, I'm here. What to get you to? sign the five-year max what do you need from the raiders i don't need anything i've already re-signed i was just expressing my anger that we signed jimmy garoppolo is that is that breaking news here on the pod the walk-on pod no we we already signed bonanza already adrian wojanowski did not drop a bomb yet. already signed are we ahead of woge right now (laughs) we're ahead of real this is real i am woge (laughs) i am woge that's a good quote I have to think that one for me. I am the thing. The Raiders have been pissing me off for so long. So long. I have every right to say I'm a free agent when we get Jimmy freaking Garoppolo. The dude right? was in the Super Bowl two years ago. Because he had the best defense in the league. Jared had yeah, nothing he, to do he with still his had to not mess I, the I agree game with Tom. Up, if, he, not, look. if he could throw if he could throw a deep ball, the 49ers would have beat the Chiefs, all right? So are you taking you're you're saying that Trent Dilfer is a better quarterback than Jimmy Garoppolo? What? Or Joe honest, Flacco. I don't, which, <laughs> I don't know which route. Uh, Joe Jared's Flacco taking. is a Super Bowl champion. But Joe that Flacco's was because of the defense. <laughs> okay, did Jimmy win? That's my point. But what has Derek Jimmy Carl lost learned? because Jimmy couldn't make the throw when it mattered? I'm not going to support Derek- Jimmy if he comes in. If he comes in, guns and blazes, <laughs> I'll shut my mouth. Okay, I'll but you're mad mouth. about getting rid of Derek Carr, who was worse. No, I, I hate Derek, Derek Carr so too. But he's worse than Jimmy G. But okay, I don't. Okay, I should have signed James. I don't hate Derek Carr. The, <laughs> the the Raiders never did anything. The Raiders never did anything to help Derek besides get him Devontae Adams this year. Their defense has always been awful. Their defense is this still going to be awful next year. Jimmy's been worse. Look, what I'm bringing the right. whole so, reason I brought this so, up. This so let's let's put it let's put it, let's put it on the table right now. Who? So you're so saying that they're going to have a worse record next on. year? You're saying they're going to have a worse record Raiders. this year this next year than they did last year? I don't even know what their record was this year because I oh, because man. I got so mad at them. I don't think they're signing you. I think they're going to deny the phys, the physical is going to come back. Uh, problems in the mental region. We cannot sign this free agent back once again. I really don't care because we're talking about football. So, but but uh, Jared bringing it up like actual players and stuff has has changed what I was trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, it took. You said there's been years of bad decision making by the Raiders. I understand that. You said you wouldn't understand to me. I understand. I'm a Kings fan. I get bad decisions. No, but my football but fandom, never, my basketball fandom are two different are, are two completely different things. But why? Uh, fair to because say. I mean I, take, I can agree. I, I can get on board. I, mean, I can get on board I mean, with that. Okay, topic. okay. I get I get what you're saying. It's not as passionate, like you're not in it as much. It's it's not. Passionate. It's simply okay, just okay. not. Like okay. That's a good argument. Like, I'm glad that your your PR department had that in your ear because that was a good argument. Because before that you were losing me, but that one I'll give you. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. And yes, you're right. I don't have a football team. Um, yeah, I'm a big Jameis Winston guy. Uh, oh my god, what? that's about it. So that is such a weird person to be about, bro. People, we we know that people love Jameis Winston. He's one of the best energy guys. I'd usually out. I'd usually back Luke here on the Winston take, but I don't want to right now. Oh, why, wow. did, why did the Raiders sign Jameis Winston? Yeah, that would have been a good pick. That 30 don't for 30 year me, was one of the know. most special years I've ever seen. The what? 30 picks, 30 touchdowns. Oh. So that's a special year. But see, this hey, is my thing. About, 
this is this is my thing. Yeah, about break Davis. some eggs. You want to make you know? Who's would would most people would the general football public consider Brett Favre to be to be one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time? No. At least at least in the top twenty. Oh, top twenty. Okay, maybe. Twenty okay. is such a big list, Luke. What? <laughs> How many quarterbacks have played in the NFL all time? Saying top twenty is yeah, not like, like, it's like, like when you was like, someone's one of the greatest of all time. You don't go twenty. You go to like all right, five. He's, he's, all he's, right. he's a great quarterback at all time. How about that? Jeez. Yeah. yeah. He also Why are leads we talking about Brett Favre? Because he has the most interceptions of all time. So for people to get on Jameis Winston about his interceptions, all I'm saying is he's he has great Well, yeah, interceptions. take it to basketball. Like, James Harden missed the most. All right, I'm not potting here threes. to push Jameis. I'm not potting to push Jameis Winston agenda, so we can move on. All right, you got me. It, it, is, it is March, and we're talking about football. I'm kind of upset yeah. about that. Okay, no, no, no. I'm done. really upset. I just, I just wanted I'm to start really that upset. off. Hey, I just you know to start what? Off. Hey. Tom, you hung in there, man. You hung in there. Well, the five round championship. Wait, right. no, now, 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 Jared being condescending. Yeah. Well, Tom, um, usually, so let's so, talk about the Kings. Let's talk about I'm the Kings again because I want to piss Luke off now. There's nothing to piss me off about. I'm here. Two seed. Spoken. Are they? I'm pretty sure the Grizzlies have won like six in We're a row. Tied. Yeah. So the Kings. We're tied right now. That and is... we have the we have the uh, tiebreaker. Last time I checked, um, is is uh, is job coming back for the playoffs? Or no, I think he has. Uh, to. I don't know. They're low key better without him. That's hard to say that though. They're way better defensively without him. I just hate Dylan. Yeah, Bruce, man. But you can't. Yeah, he had a huge shot the other day. Oh my gosh, he won the game against the Spurs. He did. Yeah, he did. I guess the Spurs. Um, it makes you sick. I'm team. not a. I'm not a big fan either, but hey, wins are wins at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know, and I'm I'm a Grizzlies hater right now. So. But but Tom, he, you can't you he, can't win without stars. No, you can't. You can't. But like, you need Jaw. When Jaw got Warrior series, like I can say as a fan, like I was, I was more nervous going forward without him out there. No, uh, I don't know about that. Then he hit it like a game. He hit it like a game winner. Yeah, but like they just make the game so ugly when he's not on the floor, bro. They're so good defensively, and they oh, had the Anthony Melton last year. Like yeah. they had they had the Anthony Melton last year, who's a really good defender. Like I don't know that that was just my take. I like I knew that I knew that they were gonna take care of business either way. But like when like game three could have gone either way if Dylan Brooks wasn't shot chucking and the Warriors won because of that like could have been ugly. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Or game I, four, I, not game I think three. Denver's Denver is like showing their weaknesses right now, or maybe they're just yeah. getting bored. Maybe they're just like, but it's you never want to go into the playoffs. Yeah, you never want to go into the playoffs playing like half, like well. Well, and people, like are saying MVP is, people are saying Embiid is not the favorite for MVP after this past week. I would not, bro. Giannis should win MVP. <laughs> I hate the Embiid okay, push. But Giannis winning MVP is like the LeBron MVP. winning MVP. It's a late like, push. No, oh, okay, but he's the best player though. He's he's on the team. I, They're now the best team in the league. I don't disagree with you. I'm just saying, like Gian, I know, you, I, say, I just, you have an argument to say Giannis could win every year. I know, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's the old man in me, but like I hate the Embiid narrative because it's like, it, it, it like they don't, they haven't won. They're what are they, the four seed, third seed? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. You like, know who my MVP a... vote is, so it doesn't really matter. It's De'Aaron. This yeah, is my MVP. I was gonna say Giannis, to be honest. Uh, like, oh, you guys okay. I was gonna say Sabonis. Like, come on. No, He's I said De'Aaron. He's top five. De'Aaron, De'Aaron's. Uh, I would say De'Aaron's the MVP over Sabonis. Clutch leading in fourth quarter scoring, clutch yeah. points. On uh, second, I think De'Aaron's second best team in the West. Yeah. Hey, you know what's funny? I'll tell you something funny. So I went to the tournament games on Thursday and Saturday yesterday. And people that aren't from here have no freaking idea what the beam is. And when it was lit, everyone walked out of the arena extremely confused. <laughs> um, it's actually really funny. <laughs> well, well, because who's playing? Uh, uh, what do you mean? I mean, UCLA, UCLA played both, both games, yeah. Right, no, but what was the last game last night? It was a UCLA Oh, UCLA game, right? played um, Northwestern. 
Northwestern. So this is okay. So I was afraid this was going to happen. So obviously I knew the Kings were going to win, but they were playing Northwestern was playing UCLA. I was afraid all these Northwestern fans were going to walk out and see the purple beam and think that it was like for them, like the. But they lost. The gold, I know. That's why I was like, I don't know how this is going to go down, but um, yeah, I thought I, you I knew that they were gonna UCLA was going to take care of business. I did. It wasn't even about – it was just about the Northwestern fans and their purple. Yeah, there, it was an odd an odd amount of West Northwestern people. I guess Northwestern never makes it to the tournament, so it could make sense why people from the Midwest would fly out here to go to the yeah. games. I don't know. People are people – are, I mean, we can go tournament talk now, now that we're in it. Because at, at the time of the recording right now, the round, round 32 set. just finished. Yeah, the Sweet yeah. 16 is, done, is, is set. I am very – yes, I am very surprised at uh, how bad the Big Ten and the Big 12 did. Yeah. Like, Big East is out there defending themselves too. Yeah, but like the lowest seed – if I, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but the lowest seed, Michigan State, is the only Big Ten team that survived. Florida Atlantic is Princeton's lower 15. than them. No, no. Yeah. No, no, you're saying, big, oh, out of the big, big 10. ten team. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. no, right. Indiana uh, lost. They're they're four. Purdue lost. They're one. Um, and then maybe <laughs> Northwestern was a seven. Yep. And yep. so is Michigan State. That's they're seven. seven. Okay. So. But yeah, you're right. So yeah. I have them in my final four. By the way, Michigan State. Wow. That's so an interesting pick. Um, so. Yeah, so we'll bet against at, Tom Izzo in March, man. I yeah, they, I was we I was talking with someone today about it, and it was like Michigan State has these seasons very often where it's like they have a very like mediocrely good season, like not anything crazy, and then they get to March and like just start playing incredible. Well, it's basketball. also about matchups, right? Like they they seem to me, it seems like Michigan State more than any other team like out of the major teams, when they end up in that mid seed, mid to low seed, they like, they really catch teams off guard and like their style of play is hard for those teams to deal with. Mm. Like, I think the last year, the last time they went to the final four, I I could look it up, but I think they were a five seed last time they went to the final four. Um, That was the the Duke year. They they beat Duke. Yeah, I think they were five, were they not? Those... Uh, I don't remember what they were, but they were they were good though because they had cash as yeah. Winston still. But I mean, I think it's it's just uh, yeah. I thought that I was impressed how well the SEC did, and uh, Alabama just looks like the best team. So, Alabama looks disgusting. They look like mm-hmm. the best team. They're the they most balanced. They look so yeah. good. They're yeah. So do we have? Any... I thought Gonzaga was going to lose just a little bit ago, and they really. Drew Timmy went crazy. Not not in the Tigers den crazy, but he went crazy. Anyways, so the thing about Gonzaga, and I was saying this as I was watching the game, is like we all know they can score. Like they can score with yeah. anyone in this tournament. And they'll probably if you want to get into a scoring battle, they have a very good chance of winning that. But the second they started getting him stops in that last little push they made, I was like, you're not catching them. You're not catching yeah. them. I want to look up a name real quick because um Shout out to Tyrell Roberts. I was literally at the gym today and he was telling me I had a break and I was watching the Kentucky Kansas state game. He's like, yo, this dude, Marquez Marquise Noel is super yeah. nice. Tough. Five, five, seven, bro. He had 27 and nine. So you, you get to so watch nice. this game? I, no, I watched, I watched second half. He was literally bro. frying them. It, well, first off, it was an incredible game too. Like that was that was such a good game. Dom, did you watch it or no? Yeah, I did. Oh wow. my gosh, he went crazy in the second half. Well, he was like his vision is conscious. his vision is elite, especially yeah. for his height. I'm like, how are you getting these passes off? He's between two defenders. Yeah, he's really cold. He's cold. Yeah, he's I mean, a dog. Wasn't he? Wasn't he second team All American? I have no idea. I never even heard of him before. I think, I'm pretty sure he was second team All American this year. Yeah. Him and Keontae Johnson were both All American. I was gonna say, well, Keontae Johnson had a really good game down the stretch too. Um, um, yeah, his story is awesome. In, that's, that so, that's so dope. Yeah. Um, Coming back from all that. 
But the thing about yeah, the the point guard too, they were saying on the telecast I thought it was cool. Like uh he has some relationship somehow that is friends with Kyrie. So Kyrie's like mentored him on the court and stuff. And like as they're saying this, he like gets into like a, a he he probes a ball screen, boom, sidestep, and they're like, see, like that's Kyrie. And I was like, okay, like no, nah, we might be we might be stretching it, but like yeah, it was still, I can't like, wait. I could, can't I can't wait for the uh Instagram trainers to break that down for tomorrow. Is that a is that a preview for your content coming tomorrow? No. Tomorrow's Monday. You know what happens micro on Monday. Skill Monday micro right. skills micro Monday. Skill Monday. Hey, Monday all you listeners, if you're not tapped into micro skill Mondays, you better get on it now because yeah, I was taking yeah, power I step underscore. tomorrow. No power step isn't. That's uh, that's I I haven't deemed that a micro skill yet. But oh my bad, my we bad. We can't we can't leak the script yet, can we? Yeah, yeah, no, not yet. This isn't the NFL. I was just like I was just like setting the line like. Power step was like plus oh. three hundred for tomorrow. <laughs> you like you like their odds. I might oh go God. power step money line for tomorrow. Jared might. Jared might I like shock that. the world. I like that. Yeah, what's you know? There was some crazy. Of, there was some crazy betting in some of the group texts that I'm in. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm trying to think of some of the other funny. Uh, yeah, it's another. There'll be some more footwork Jared stuff tomorrow. Oh, footwork stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, Jared's yeah. already went with surprises. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting the uh, the the Kobe step one. I don't remember what you call oh, it. Oh, the back pivot. The back pivit. I wasn't expecting. The back, the back pivot, pivot is elite. That yeah, is that is one like of the staples. Stride. I could see like a stride stop for I tomorrow. Like that. I really like that. Tomorrow. Plus fifteen hundred on a stride stop. I really like that. Give me the purple Gatorade. <laughs> oh, yeah, micro. This is not a betting yeah, but, podcast, by the way. Yeah, that we don't do that. Time. We don't yeah, exactly. talk about it. Yeah, but if you want to put a bandaid on it, go ahead and put a bandaid on it. Put a bandaid on it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. And... We're getting off topic. Um, so Jared, uh, are you saying that Alabama is your favorite going towards? I didn't. Four? So I didn't do a bracket this year. Um, but if I would have done one, I pr- I would have picked him to win. Uh, just because I felt like they were the most consistent all year. And uh, Sasser's injured for Houston, so like he's playing hurt. So. I think they just have every piece. Like Alabama has good, pretty good guard play, older guards, and Quinterly, uh, and the other guard that comes off the bench who like pushes pace. And I can't remember his name. It's a good defender. And then you yeah. obviously have like the elite talent and Brandon Miller. And but even Noah Clowney has like really emerged. And like he's the big, uh, like athletic four or five that can shoot and stretch the floor. And uh, their coach is their coach is pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. Forget about Betty Yaka. Yeah, no, and the big, like, I mean, they just pretty much are the most balanced team. They remind me of, like, the Syracuse team with Carmelo. Yeah. Like, they just had a little bit of everything. Really good. Do we we have a team in the Sweet 16 that we think is still a sleeper that that could uh, um, make noise? That's what I was just And maybe make a a, a Final Four run, get a couple upsets here? UConn. Let me. Oh wow, UConn, huh? Is that no? Yeah, I, I agree. With you UConn. got you got ties. You have ties. No, I don't have ties. Um, they uh they guard they guard very well, and I think their um, big is so good. They they're they're athletic across the board. They guard really well, and if they're hitting shots the way they were hitting shots today, they are going to be a very very tough out. So I can see. I don't like Princeton. Oh, I guess they not. Talk never me, mind. They can, talk they get to see Florida. Alabama. Talk to me about Florida Atlantic. It's a team mm. that knows how to win. It's a team that knows how to win. Yeah. Do they yeah. have like, thirty? Ten, and Tennessee's year, really Tennessee's really good. Yeah, they showed that yesterday too. Yeah, Tennessee's really they good. Thirty-three. That's what I'm saying. They know how to that win is a game. that is a good basketball team. I actually, you know what I'm looking at now. I like your pick, Luke. Uh, Arkansas is like the sexy pick, but they just take the worst shots. I hate watching them play. Yeah, you know they Boston take some be bad ones. Yeah, yeah, take I mean, some bad ones. I actually, I actually like my. JD, no yeah, I actually yeah. like uh, Miami. That's gonna be my upset. I think Miami's gonna make it to the Final Four out of that group. You 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 think they'd be Houston? Yeah, I think the way they yeah. defend and their co- Laronag has been there before. Like, you know, he knows how to play the underdog. And 
uh, yeah. I mean, they can score it. Xavier. Xavier's good. I like Xavier. But I, I think if I had to pick one, I'm looking at it right now. Like, four yeah, seed and up. Michigan State. Yeah, you pick Michigan State. That's a really good pick because I think they can beat Kansas State. They have um, path too, yeah. I like I like Miami. That's that would be my like four in four and up, I guess. I feel like if you're a three or a two, it's not really upset. Right. Especially looking at who the three and the two seeds are. Yeah, I like Princeton. I wish Princeton wasn't playing Alabama. If Princeton was in a different set, I would pick Princeton. I love they, that they're winning. They, they just like score, bro. They're they're they they're manhandled funny. Mizzou. Yeah. They yeah. manhandled Mizzou. Yeah, it's it's cool. To, that's the one thing we talked about, I think, last week. And everybody was talking about how, like, when we talk about, like, you know, the college basketball games aren't always the best games. But at least you can see in the tournament, like, there's just so much parity because of the transfer portal and because of all this other stuff that's going on. They were, um... I think the portals really, portals really made it the parity that much yeah. higher now. So you well, they were... get... The mid ma- the mid majors can get that older veteran guard. Yeah, or like a high major guard, a high major guard that like already played four years, uh, like Duke, yeah. and will just go like somewhere different, you know? Yeah, yeah. They were talking about that on the the wrap up show because they had all the when we were talking about the conferences with multiple uh, multiple bids. They were going down like there's eleven different conferences uh, in the six Sweet Sixteen right now. It's pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. I don't know if it's ever been that. Been well, that. that's what uh, I don't remember who was. I had it on the background, but someone, one of the analysts, said that they're like, "That's if I had a guess, that's probably the highest it's ever been." Because that, that's, that's probably pretty... Clark Kellogg said that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, because if you think about it, because what the big, the Big Ten had eight, right? Uh, teams think, total. Yeah, I think they had eight. Yeah, totally. Let me see. Um, yeah, I, I want to say – it's so weird now because, like, you like Maryland is technically a Big Ten team, but really they're an ACC team. I mean, are they, though? Like, if they play in yeah, the Big Ten, they're a Big Ten. Ten. Like, I know, but I'm saying, like, but when you think about it like that, I know. But, like, West Virginia is a Big 12 team. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, historically, like, that wouldn't have been – Yeah, like, like you have long. two teams. Yeah, like, Maryland is in Bal- – like, Right there by Baltimore, and that's a Big Ten team. That doesn't make sense. West Virginia is right there, and they're a Big 12 team. That doesn't make sense. But, like, I know what conference they're in. I'm just saying, like, looking back on it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's not looking good. Who do you guys for... think the best player of the weekend was? Like, who's who's been the best in turn? Who's the early favorite for most fucking player? Uh, honestly, bro, from Kansas State right now, like, I, that might be recency bias because I watched that game today, but that was no, a very impressive. Yeah, that was a very impressive showing. Um, yeah, it's tough it because, good. like, it's tough because, like, you say that right now, right? But, like, if we say Alabama goes and wins it, like, Brandon Miller's probably gonna win. Most of the no, players. I think, I think like had the best weekend. Like, right, right, right. Oh, the guard, the guard from Arkansas, Davis. Yeah. Yeah, he fouled out and still killed. And like, you, you beat the number one seed. But Drew Timmy just had twenty eight. So really, a really handle twenty eight too. It looked really yeah. comfortable for the game. Like it was like I think, I think it was 20. ten of ten of thirteen. <laughs> I think it's so funny how he drew him and gets and they all call him old and then I'm like, I'm like you don't understand it. It's literally just a senior year. Like, he's like 22. Yeah, they said that he, this is third Sweet 16 in a row. And they're like, what does that sound like? And he was like, just trying to get ready for the next round. Like, what, a, what, a, what a great answer out of Drew. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to switch gears here a little bit. Um, this is – so, as we said before, we're going to do us three every other week, and we've been sticking to that for the most part. Um, but with that, we wanted to introduce some more segments. And now, um, you know, some people can say we stole this segment from someone else. Um, if you know, then I'm just going to let you assume or you're going to you're gonna figure out where we got this from, but I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, but basically, uh, these two 
love to watch movies. They have a the very lar- large catalog of movies that they've watched. And they'll talk about it in the group message and they'll be like, oh, Luke, you've seen it? No, no I haven't. No, I haven't. So we're going to we're going to introduce a segment we like to call walk on tomatoes, uh, like rotten tomatoes, but walk on tomatoes, where these two are going to uh, propose a movie to me and I'm going to have to watch it before the next time it's us three. And then I'm going to come back with a rating. Now, the rating scale, because this is the walk on pod, it's going to be how much of a scholarship do I give this movie? Now, if I feel like this movie hit it out the park, something that I need a part of my program uh, for as long as its eligibility is uh, there. We're going to give it a full scholarship um, and, you know, so on and so forth. So maybe some that's Oscar to Shibway NIL kind of money. Yeah. You know, if we, if we have to, if we have to bring NIL into it, we'll do that as well. Um, but uh, I, I asked, I asked these two um, because they were proposing the movies to be on the same page and we didn't talk about it at all this week. And they just told me that they came prepared. So I'm very excited for what we got uh, coming your way right here. Tom, I'll let you take the floor. You were uh, the initiator. All right, man. I'm excited for this one. This is a this is a really good movie. One of my favorite movies. Uh, it is a it's a crime drama, released in 2006. Got some high level casting in this movie as well. Before I get to the casting, I'm gonna tell you the director, one of the greatest directors of all time. We got Martin Scorsese behind the camera. Don't know if you're familiar with his game at all, Luke. All right, Another starring one. Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon. We've got The Departed. I've not seen The Departed. I've heard great. Ah, things. good call. Oh, man, I'm excited. All right, I'll have I'm I'll really have, excited. Yeah, there's not much more I can really tell you about this movie, but it's, it's intense. It's fast-paced. It's funny. Leo should have won. Leo should have won. Uh, an Oscar that should have been his one of his first Oscars. He didn't win for that one, um, but yeah, Leo does an amazing job. It's just super well written, um, and as far as just crime drama goes, like it doesn't get any better. So good, and and the so twist, good. the twist is just the twist is just the climax is just the best, man. All right, don't give it away, bro. Don't give it away, Great writing. Bro. I just said the twist. There's a twist. It's a crime drama. There's gonna now be a twist. Gonna, now I'm gonna you be don't like watch... expecting a twist. Like, but I'm you're gonna... not Luke, gonna there's know always what it is. a twist. Yeah, there's you always... don't watch right, any movies. Bad, so, Luke, I, yeah, I Luke, here's some, the thing. Here's some. the thing with here's the thing with with screenwriting, man. You you have to have a twist in every yeah. movie. Yeah, this has isn't High School Musical, Zach. Come on, that's a good movie. That's a great movie. That is our that problem. That's why we're <laughs> that's why we're having this right now is because Tom, you Tom, think Tom, High School Musical is a good movie. It's nostalgic. High School Musical is an enjoyable movie, Luke. High it's School Musical a good is not. Movie. Do you guys know what it's not movie on the level of the movies we're going to be delivering? Did one One Tree Hill did a movie version? It's probably it's probably yeah. like Step Brothers or the other guys. No, it's the other guys up there. That's up there. That's top five, but it's not. It's not my favorite. Um. Yeah, did, yeah, did, that's a good point from Jared. Did One Tree Hill make a movie? We're looking. We were looking for Space Jam. Uh, <laughs> I get that was, movie. Uh, it's a. Is it not a great movie? You talk okay, about but historical yeah, it's context. It's you talk about sports. this is what we talk about, Luke. This is what we talk about. Like you're not. Like your lack of culture is just very upsetting. Okay, no, 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 right whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. This isn't a culture thing. Don't do that. I'm not uncultured. Yes. I don't want. The, no. I don't want you to push that I'm uncultured. <laughs> Bro, like that's a but you're look. like saying Space Jam, like that's a cute movie and all. It's a good movie, but like when you watch The Departed, like you are no, going to be saying. enthralled I'm not, for I'm, two and a half hours of pure drama. I'm not it's a great way to put it. I'm not fighting it. Um, I know you're not fighting it, but it's like the fact that we have to have this segment for you. I think it's good though. I think it's good for us. You so, but it's funny because like over the summer, I want to say, do you remember when you were giving me movie recs? Yes, me and Kayla were watching movies, and they were yes. all good ones. They were all pretty good ones. I know because so. I am the movie goat, self-proclaimed, self-proclaimed. Over there, right there, you can't see it, but there's over 250 actual DVDs over there. Impressive. Jared's got good. Jared's got good knowledge, man. No, he does. That's why I've gone to him, and you know, and I think Tom does too, and that's why we're going to him as well. I know these guys are. I'm up and Tom, Tom is a great pad one. I will say. Yeah, no, I'm up and coming. I got, and Tom, I got work I, to do. I'm up and coming. <laughs> I like, love. You know what I love though is that Tom is like all for like 
I'm going to go see this, this random movie because I like the director or because I like who's in it. And I'm going to go by myself because none of my friends want to go see it. I do. I'm on that yeah, vibe. I'm on that, that vibe. Yeah. Like that. That's how you really get, get sharpen your tool, get your game right. There's nothing like a good movie, man. Like, I don't Yeah. You can't like. You just uh, like, now that I, now that especially that I'm, I'm, I'm taking these classes, like I'm taking a screenwriting class right now. Like you appreciate, you appreciate the movie so much more. Now that you know the behind the scenes. And it's hilarious. Like, Luke won't understand, but, like, directors and screenwriters, like, they don't care about the movie. That's, like, the best part about it. Like, they don't care, like, what, if people like the movie or not, as long as you watch the movie. And I think that's hilarious. They just want to incite a reaction or a feeling. Exactly. Exactly. It's cool. It's very, I could talk about this all the time. We should also, I don't know if, I don't know if we will do this with this segment, but we should also give you TV shows to watch. I was. That's, like, more of a commitment, though. Yes, yes so that agreed. might be like a long term thing, like yeah. in the back of my mind. You know, keep yeah. that yeah. going. Because um, HBO's dropping some hitters. Some hitters. Uh, yeah. Say. Speaking of movies, if, has either of you seen Puss in Boots? I have. Good movie. Bro, I'm going to get off of this right no, now. No, no, no. Jared, Jared, Jared. I haven't Jared. seen it yet. Everyone is raving about it. Everyone's it's raving good. About it. I mean, it's good, good but like, we're talking about The Departed right now. No, but I'm no, not, yes, I but... get that was a bad time to bring it up, but that was a legit question because I haven't watched it, but everyone is like, it's actually I mean, it's incredible. I mean, it's not better than the first Shrek, I'll tell you that. Well, you saw the most recent Puss in Boots, Jerry? Yeah, there's a, how many are there? There's two or there's one? There's well, a brand new one. Out. There's a brand oh, new no, one. Oh, no, I've only seen the first one. See, okay, so I'm here to tell you, boys. About. I'm fellows, I'm here to tell you, I've seen it, of course. I'm here to tell you, it's the goods. Great, it's a full scholarship. For for the genre for like that, yes. I'm so it's full better scholarship. than Shrek, bro. I, okay, I might be in the I might be in the like minority here. I'm not a big Shrek guy. I don't know. Not a okay. fan of that take. Um, bro, I was with Cam for I was with Cam for six days this week. He watched it oh three times. He watched what? it three what do you times. Mean? How did he watch it three times? He went to the movie theater. It's no, good, it's, man. it's on uh, like Peacock or something. Oh, oh yeah, I gotcha. That that might be the best like animated movie villain that they've dropped yeah, man, mm. that might be that might be next week jared you and sid I from sid it. from toy story is easily the number one villain he's great but like if we're talking like dreamworks if we're talking dreamworks like kung fu panda's got some good villains but like oh uh, yeah okay dreamworks okay i'll give you that like Death? pixar pixar is hard to beat though yeah no i'm the talking tarant- the tarantula from monsters inc like no, and good villain. and uh jared. the the chameleon I don't know if I'd watch this with Water your daughters, Jared. They might get they might get scared. Uh, uh, um, yeah, they don't. No, nah, they don't watch that. No. We're, the we're villain, on, I just yeah. The we're on a great. Sing Two hype right now. Mm. We we want to watch two. Sing Two. Is a great yeah. movie. Sing Two is good. Yeah. Sing Two is good. Yeah, great movie. Don't know. Don't yeah. know if you guys have got on the Zootopia train yet, Jared. Good I movie like well. Zootopia a lot. I do. I like Zootopia. <laughs> Jason Bateman such a is good addition, huge. Man, look at these Jason two. Jason just... Bateman is so good. Yes, Bateman Jason is Bateman Air. Bateman and Air. It's it looks phenomenal. Oh yeah, yeah. It hasn't came out yet though. This is this Matt is Damon. Good. Matt Damon's fat now. Yeah. All right. I'll, yes, I'll stop. Yes, yes, I could talk about this forever. Stuff. No, this is good. What this is you... good. This is this is why. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, knocking it. I'm glad. This is why we needed to introduce the the uh, the segment. Because look at you too, man. It's, it's nice to yeah. see. I, I mean, it. this is. I could talk movies all day. I'm gonna watch a good movie after this. Actually, now that we're here, have is the new Jurassic Park movie report? good or no? I haven't seen it. Dominion. No, I haven't seen it yet. Mm. I might watch. You it see... Wait, are you t- what, the new Jurassic Park? Or Jurassic World, I guess. Jurassic World Dominion. That, wait, it came out last year. It came oh, out yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. It's fine. It's fine. It's like the other ones. Yeah. I thought you were talking about there's a new movie. Uh, it's called like 65 with Adam. Oh, Biden. yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen. You, you uh, saw it? No, no. I've seen the the um, previews for it. I want. It looks decent. That. I can't take Adam Driver seriously after he played Rilo. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if you guys have seen the previews. Cocaine Bear has my attention, bro. I'm not going to see that. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what movie I do want to see? Have you seen see. Have you seen the horror rendition of Winnie the Pooh? No, I want to see that. I want to see that. Yeah, it's that's an odd chick. I, I don't. 
Well, I like horror movies also, so I don't know. That, yeah, that might be something I wasn't, for you guys. I'm not a horror guy at all. Like, I've been tapping in more to them recently, but like, They're hilarious. Just, we talked about this before. Yeah, and I'm not, I don't yeah. watch horror movies. Yeah. But, Smile was good. I heard Smile was mad creepy. I didn't see it. Shocking. Smile was, Smile was good. Very scary. Very creepy. He's better. Uh, all right, are we uh, are we good here? Do we segment wrapped up here? The Welcome Departed. Yeah. yeah. If you the need departed. to borrow it, I have it on DVD, Luke. Oh, I actually might. Uh, I'll hit you about that because yeah. I was just gonna like Amazon Prime it, but if we can, if yeah, we can save no. a few bucks, a few bucks, we'll do that. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I have it. I don't the know departed. if you have a DVD player, but I guess you have a PS5. Yeah, I'll right? PS4. I don't have a PS4. Four, five, five. I'm not big time. We did, we're still not yeah. monetized here on that, the wall. That, 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 I, was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say that uh, shoot that shoot away uh, check didn't hit yet. Yeah, no, it, yeah, that that was for other things. But uh, I think it might be uh, starting five time now, folks. No, let's get it. Yeah. All right. So interesting. I'm gonna go here. last. Yeah, you want to go last? All right. So uh, we yeah, had a I'm, couple. I'm winging it. So why would you say that? See, I feel like you do stuff like this where you want the people listening to like feel bad for you. They're like, "Oh, Jared's like they, might not be that they, good." They, they should, yeah, they should. <laughs> um, but yeah, we talked about a couple. Why you call me out like that? Hey, man, I've, I've been around you too long. Um, yeah, we've we we had a couple of different basketball related ones. You still might get those in the in the following weeks. But uh, with with St. Patrick's Day being a couple of days ago, we're gonna go with luckiest sports moments uh luckiest sports plays luckiest sports people whatever it is just lucky things in sports starting five um i just went straight moments well that's mine's pretty much moments too yeah so it was kind of it, it's open um and you know the term lucky again is up for interpretation so we could have some uh, right controversy here. exactly no this should be good this should be good good chatter here yeah uh so i don't know if you want to go first tom or i go it's up to you uh, i can if you want i don't really care yeah go ahead um, lucky. I mean, lucky is just such a broad term. I don't right. know. At my point guard, you know, this is this is one that happens. I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's the NFL, okay? And this is something that happens in the NFL decently often this year, especially. My point guard, I've got, I've got the double doink. Okay, <laughs> but I've got the double doink Cleveland Browns version. So I don't have the double doink that missed. I have the double right. doink that hit the post and then hit the back of the cross, like you know, like the, yeah, the part of the crossbar that comes up. Yeah. So it was actually in, but they thought he missed, and then they had to like think about it. And they're like, "Oh, he actually made that." So I would actually consider that lucky, right? The double right. doink Cleveland Browns edition. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna have to get a year on that for the graphic, but. I yeah, I'll get you what you're talking about. I'll get you the year. I'll get you the year. Yeah. At my two guard, I went basketball here. I've got uh Toronto Raptors, Charlotte Hornets, Jeremy Lamb, mm. loose ball recovery, half court heave bank for the win. Bro, that's a good one. I don't remember when it was, but that's yeah, that was one of the craziest. It was a shots regular ever. season game. So lucky. Bro. Regular season. Yeah. Bro, have you do you remember Kemba turned around in disgust? Like as the ball yes. was going off and the ball was in yes. the air and then ended up going in. Kemba always got a meme about it, bro. Yeah, that's a good. Yes. Point. I didn't even think about that one. That was a really Thank good. Thank you. At the three, this is okay. So here's a here's one where I don't know if I consider this lucky, but I have to throw it in there because of how great it is. I'm sticking with the Toronto Raptors court. I've got the Kawhi Leonard ultimate shooters bounce roll in Game Seven. Okay. Corner shot fading. One, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, however many times it was. That's my starting three. Um, and you know, you, you know might not like say it's lucky, but that. yeah. He was living right. I think that's, he must be living yeah. right. I think that's up for interpretation. <laughs> I think that's up for interpretation. At the four, you guys are going to like this one. Okay, I'm sticking with basketball. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I would hope you've seen this. I've got 0. 0.2 seconds left on the shot clock. The Trevor Booker tap. The Trevor Booker tap tap that's a good over one. his head in the hoop i don't care that's the luckiest shot ever i do not care and at the five i went with a different sport i went baseball mm. i've got uh vladimir guerrero jr not the, the line drive oh. no he not not the golf i know what you're talking about the one the where the ball hit the ground <laughs> yeah no i've got this is this is a this Bro, is lucky for him 52 yeah 
Vladimir Guerrero with a line drive at the center field. Routine catch. The guy jumps up, bounces off his glove. Home run because of his glove. Mm. It would have been a, It would have been out. Home run for Vlad Guerrero. I've seen that clip before. That could be considered on the center field more than spark. lucky, to be honest. Depends on what angle you look at it from. Yeah. For Vlad Guerrero, I'm saying it's lucky. Yeah. That's a good list, man. That's a good list. I wouldn't argue any of those. The Kawhi one, I would say, you know, is it luck? Is it him living right? Is it him, you know, being the yeah. champ? Who knows? It's valid. I just wanted to keep the basketball train going, so yeah. I thought it was I good. Like one. Jared, any problems with that list? No, I like the list. All right. All right, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Um, so at the point guard, I felt like if you're talking luck and this play doesn't get mentioned, um, you're just not doing it justice. I have the immaculate reception, Franco Harris, uh, Pittsburgh mm. Steelers. Uh, we've nice. all seen the clip. You know, he's not even – he's just running towards where the ball was, it bounced off, boom, right into his hands, touchdown. Uh, immaculate reception. Nice. This is where it really gets into things, and I don't know how you guys are going to like all this. Um, at the shooting guard. I have Derek Fisher's uh, 0.4 seconds on the clock game winner against the Spurs. Um, that was that was some BS. If we're being honest, that wasn't a good basketball <laughs> shot. He just he just hucked it up there and it went in. Um, I'm not kept that guy yeah, in the league man. for a long time. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Kept that guy in the league for a long time. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about. I'm probably away. gonna I'm probably gonna agree with you there because I put a 0.2 shot on there. So yeah, so we're gonna put that one there. I'm also. I'm not a Lakers uh, fan, to say the least. Uh, at the three, I have – so this is – this is you guys are going to – I don't know if you want to take this the right way. This is another one where it could be is it unlucky for one thing or lucky for the other one. But I have the Bucks in 2020, their championship run, only because if Kevin Durant had a smaller size shoe, they were not winning that game seven against the, net, the Nets. That's why I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like it at all. I don't like it. I'm a hater. That's lucky, bro. They they got lucky that it now it's not now lucky, do I bro. think that, it's not lucky that I, I still think they were the better team, and I'm not taking away from the championship, but I'm just saying that was a very lucky break for them. His feet were on the line, bro. Like, bro, where's the size of ninety? I hate I I hate the smaller shoe argument. It's not his feet aren't yeah, smaller. No. You know I was gonna feed into that. No, now you're really gonna hate this one at the four. <laughs> now this is one. That's going to probably haunt me for the rest of my life. Um, I'm going with the Lakers game six Robert Ory shot because if <laughs> if Vlade Divac just rebounded the ball with two hands rather than hitting it out, they don't win that game. They don't win that so series. So what's the lucky, they don't win the what's the lucky part here? That, that he even got Robert the shot. Ory? Yeah, that he even got the shot up. Okay, fair. But I'm not rebounding saying, technique is luck. I thought you were saying the yeah. I thought you were saying the shot was lucky. I was like, it's kind of a no. The whole the way it unfolded is lucky. Um, sour sour grapes, right? Here. Yeah, 100%. I guess. And, and if you want I'd to put Tim Donahue honestly, in yeah. this argument, you know, uh, Kobe uh, Kobe no. Kobe Nobody gets to the line to. after he elbows Mike Bibby in the head. I don't know how that makes sense. Um, real Kings fans like myself has dissected this film. It just doesn't add up. Uh, Tim so Tim Donahue, my, man. That's not my four. At my five, um, now this I think I think this man got very lucky uh, for the way that events unfolded. Um, I'm going with Kevin Love for the fact that he took the charge on John ja Morant, but he missed the dunk because this could have been one of the greatest <laughs> posters like of that. all time. But because That's he missed one. it, we're not going to talk throw, about it. Throw like Gabe, a hey, shout out Gabe Vincent. Throw Gabe Vincent in there too that he got, <laughs> got the he charge. Got, he got oh, the charge call. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, I think that would have been the worst. Dunk. That would have been the worst. Think, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So we would yeah. that poster would have been one of, like that's like Vince Carter over the seven footer type yeah. poster dunks. We would have been talking about it for ages, but now it's just another jaw crazy attempt. You know, it's different. Yeah, yeah. He's got that's, a lot of those. Yeah. So that's my five. All right. All right. I'm gonna. I know you guys have problems with it, but it's okay. No, not too many. <laughs> Robert at my at my point guard. I'm going to go football. Um, give me the David Tyree catch mm. on the helmet. I think, that was, I think that was talent. With the gum. and uh, Helmet catch, huh? The helmet catch, yeah. I'm a lot of people are going to dispute that. A lot of- <laughs> I, that's okay. That's fine. I, I, I really think, like, I mean, the fact that he held on to that ball and that they prevented the perfect season is just like, it was just not meant in the cards for someone. You know, there's just ultimate fingertip strength. You don't no. think he works on that? No. I, I think that's like 
it's like too much, man. I, I mean, just the pass, the pass wasn't good. Reeled it in like that. The defender had a hand on the ball. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's bad. That's just me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go off the reservation here. I'm gonna go baseball. Mm, nice. Okay. One of the luckiest moments. It went down as an iconic moment. But give me Babe Ruth calling his own shot and then actually <laughs> hitting home run. <laughs> So you know, you're going to call that luck. I'm calling that luck. Mm, okay. That's just that time. He's just like, if he was, maybe he was so built like luck? that. Is it luck if you tell, if you tell Luke what move you're about to hit him with in once and you do it? I feel like that's a similar, maybe. I feel like that, maybe. Yeah, that's a similar thing. Right. But hitting, luck, hitting, luck, hitting a baseball 400. To the left. Yeah. Hitting a baseball 440 feet and hitting a 17 foot sidestep jumper are two different things though. It's very true. I'm just asking yeah, was, because was, also yeah. someone has to someone has to throw the ball at me, right? In baseball, like I have the ball in my hands in basketball, I have full control. Right. Okay. It's true. It's just, I don't disagree. Just ask. Uh, yeah. I don't know. No, Would I, you guys I like, say I like... on this topic. I hate to I hate to cut you off, Jared. But no, uh, you got it. Go Would ahead. you say MJ making the eyes closed free throw? Would you put that in that category? Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. Because I wouldn't. Personally, I wouldn't, but okay, that's fair. Just I don't I think the Babe Ruth thing is left either. I don't either. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm not mad at you. Yeah. You put it in the list. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I get it. I don't agree with it, but I get it. Yeah, Perfect. Well yeah said. that's fair. Um, so at a uh, small forward, I think I'm gonna go a little bit in uh, Luke's uh, Luke's wheelhouse here. If Tim Duncan is in the game. And gets the rebound. Ray Allen doesn't get the kick out, doesn't hit the three. LeBron doesn't win back to back. Wait, so you're putting the whole championship lucky. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. If you just have Tim Duncan in the game, I'm going to go with that. Wait, so, so, because I'm going to make the graphic. Do you want me to put LeBron's second ring luck? <laughs> yes. Do that. That's I so love, bad. I'm bringing it all. The I like that. I like that. Yeah, you gotta go big here. You gotta go. <laughs> I'm swinging for the fences. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, but speaking of that, not to, I was kind of segueing. So, power forward, give me David Robinson's injury, which allowed yeah. the Spurs to get the number one pick, which turned into Tim Duncan. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a good one. I think you know if that doesn't happen, and, and you could say that. Hey, Tim Duncan was going to be a great player wherever he went, but I think just yeah. it was a, you know, match made in heaven. I guess we'll like, never know. Uh, center position. I think I had I had a couple different that I was going to go, but I, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go baseball again because we don't ever talk about baseball, and I don't ever talk about baseball. Shout out but to Peter is, Hansen, our only baseball yeah. guest. Yeah, exactly. This is an iconic moment, and it's, you know, one from a very long time ago, but give me Bill Buckner through the legs, mm. losing, the, losing the World Series. Like, just <laughs> routine, right? Like, you think about it, that guy's probably done that 500,000 times, and it just – he looked like a four-year-old Whoop. out there and uh, lost it and literally probably got ridiculed for the next 25 years of his life until – they won another one. So that's just really uh, unlucky, I guess. But, but lucky yeah. on the but other yeah. side, yeah. Yeah. All right. no, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna dispute any of those. The LeBron one is crazy, um, but I'm not going to dispute it. <laughs> you don't like that call? No, I like the call. No, because I actually was thinking about putting – not wording it the same way you did. I was thinking about putting just the fact that the game six win. I guess, but not saying yeah. his whole champion, not saying his whole ring was like. <laughs> so you're thinking that he doesn't, well, but if they lose that game, then they lose the championship, right? Right, but they also had to win two games before that. They had to win game seven, even though that's why it happened. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I mean, I guess, but I, I think there's I think there's multiple ways to I look at f- it. I think for the narrative you're pushing, you're doing it right. You're doing it Yeah, right. I mean, I feel like I feel like I got to, right? Okay, He's doing so it right. So my Super walk on, eager. walk on. Yeah, you know me, keeping it real. Um, 
I'm going to go college basketball. Oh, no. I'm going to go Christian Leitner shot. Oh, they are lucky that they didn't put anybody on the ball, which allowed Grant Hill to throw the baseball pass unimpeded. Mm, that's a really good pick. Because, like, if you put 6'11 on the ball, you can't throw that dart to Christian Leitner. But it's good. It's a good point. But yeah, so if and they had two people behind Christian Leitner. So it's like, if you just put somebody on the ball that passes and go, one of the most iconic shots probably doesn't get a chance to go in. And it changes the course of college basketball. Mm. That's a great point. Like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm also going to go college basketball before I walk over here. Um, we're going to take it back to Virginia in the final four against Auburn. Uh, Kyle Guy getting the foul call on the three pointer oh. at the last second. Oh. Down two. Now he did have to make all three free throws. So respect to Kyle Guy for that. But. Um, Kings was it a foul? Was it a foul? Was it not? I, I, being in that same situation numerous times and not getting that foul call, it was very lucky that they got that foul call and he was able to go to the line for the win. You see, I thought you were going to take the approach of Ty Jerome's uncalled double dribble in the backcourt. No, the, the foul call game. just sticks out to me. The foul call just yells to me. It's valid. It's because you want that call every, exactly. every game. And this you never a, get it. There's like there's like three salty picks in my in my lineup this week. <laughs> right. And I had a completely different walk on pick, but Jared just inspired me. Like I'm I feel so inspired. So now I'm going, now I'm going 2016. Three one lead never gets blown if Draymond Green doesn't get suspended. LeBron James wow. was lucky yes. that Draymond Green got suspended. He was lucky that the NBA suspended him from that game. God, they had to, they no had to protect. They had to protect, they had to protect the legacy. They had to protect. They had to protect the legacy. No, but I'm talking about like you tell me someone steps over you like that, you're not going like like you're not. No, I'm up saying like that like that. the yeah. NBA wanted to oh, protect sure. LeBron's yeah. legacy. You for sure. Jared's doing for that. Sure. He's an aggressive human. Oh yeah, I'm. Yeah. Anyone's doing that. Anyone's doing that. I'm probably. He was not. well within his. He was well within his right to move. Like I'm not pulling the Dylan Brooks that he did to Donovan Mitchell, but yeah, like, right, yeah, if right, you step right. over me, like, yeah. What it's Draymond did, off. what Draymond did, was not worthy of a flagrant two. Now, am I backing what Draymond did to Stephen Adams in the Oklahoma City series? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Good. Good. It's his fault. It's his fault that he had that many flagrants, but that was not worthy of a flagrant. He's lucky. LeBron James is lucky that Draymond Green didn't play Game Five because it was over in five if he played. Yeah. Do the Warriors get Kevin Durant if they lose? I don't know. But yeah. Guess we'll never know. That was good. Guess we'll never know. That was good. Um, I gotta tell you, Jared, I've been fiending to get out on the golf course, man. I know the weather has not been weather. Yeah, I got out on Friday. It was it was a beautiful day at Bartley. Had some good holes. Had some. Not so great uh, showings, but uh, right. contact was good. Ball was coming off the club face real hot. So, mm. anyways, um, mm-hmm. you know, the one thing I do know, I know you're feeling out there, Luke, but I know that Tommy's not getting his 50 chips tonight. And I know his game <laughs> isn't right. And so, if he wants a chance, which he doesn't have, there won't be any fight out of him. That was bad. Oh, wow. He yeah, had an extra <laughs> bar. I fumbled. Oh, my gosh. So we redo that one? No, not at all. No, on this topic. No, we're look, leaving that Tom. in there because it was a bad <laughs> So we're leaving Tom, that in so, there. Look, look. So I had, I had a, a trial run at my carrying ability with golf uh, yesterday at Top Golf. It was, it was it, it, basically, it was me against two, but I had a teammate, but he contributed like three points. So it was basically up to me just to carry my team. And guess what? I celebrated that with my teammate just as if it was a 50-50 split of the score. Hey, just know Tommy's not putting up a fight. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, he is. Bro, I don't he need to. is. Tommy, Tommy can uh, miss every shot all day. He's here with me. Exactly. He's here with me. He's not as getting as his chips. Mental, he's not getting as right. As I'm in the he's not putting warfare, up a fight. As long hey. as I'm in the mental warfare trenches, that's all that's needed out of me on that course. Yeah, 100%. Not putting I'm up a so, fight. 
You know, I'm, we I'm haven't glad. heard from Keith in a while. I would love to get Keith back on. Hey, hey, all I know is, this. Tom, I can't hear you if you have to go uh, 150 yards that way to find your ball. We won't have to get my ball. I'll let it go. <laughs> I'll bring my own ball so I can lose them. Range balls. <laughs> I'll bring, oh, I'll I could have I could have made a comment, but I'm just gonna let you have that one. I'm just I'll literally let you have hit that range one. balls. I'll literally <laughs> hit range balls. All right, bro. We gotta Practice. wrap this up, man. No, nah, come on, man. Hey, you know what? I'm really looking hey, forward to it. It's coming soon. I it's know. coming soon. What yeah, month is it's March. Getting, it's March. Yeah, it's, we're it's March. at least we're at least we're, two months away. Yeah. We're in we're in the, yeah. the time period that it could happen. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I I definitely I'm uh I I need to be uh I lost the words on that one, but I'm excited. <laughs> you better be That's locked in. Here. That's all I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Tom's not putting up a fight. Tom's definitely putting up a fight. Those, those chips Jared's aren't gonna lose. Those chips aren't. Doesn't happening. matter. Like we said, Lee. He ain't right. As long as I'm mentally tough and I'm out there in the trenches, it'll be fine. With all that being said, these are your favorite walk-ons, and we're walking out.